Hello there. Thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard. What a great, great rhythm and blues, soul music, boxing style concert poster here from 1966 from the Bay Area. In fact, from the Fillmore Auditorium. Look at this thing. Isn't this great? This is just, I'll give you a quick top to bottom. Fillmore Auditorium right there across the top. Wow. Just great. The date, Tuesday, September 27th. The four tops autographed by all four original band members. Just wonderful. Great piece of cardboard. 14 by 22 inch piece of cardboard made by Tillman Press right across the bay in Oakland, California. Boy, the four tops. Definitely one of the uh, big four of Motown's group sound all-time Hall of Fame. The other three, of course, being the Supremes, the Miracles, and the Temptations. I always love to point this out with posters, and this one, fortunately, is no exception. Great timing in the career of the Four Tops. It's just they were they were literally on top of the world at the time of this show in late 1966. Um, Reach Out, I'll Be There, a signature song of theirs, as even as we look back decades later, hit the charts, the Billboard Singles charts, this very month. That's right, in September of 1966. And what's neat is the song is on the poster, right there. Reach Out, I'll Be There, right under their name. So right there, that just makes this a killer piece. And that song hit the charts this month and went on, by the way, to become a number one hit for them. And that was followed up by six consecutive top 20 hits. So the four tops were just on fire, just doing fantastic. So it was just a wonderful time in their career to have this cool, charismatic uh, concert poster. So a couple of other song titles are on the poster I always like to talk about. There we have Baby I Need Your Lovin', Got to Have All Your Lovin'. That was their first hit from 1964 and one most of us know very well. So that's really cool to have on this poster as well. I'll tilt it forward a little bit to cut down the glare from the lights. So, you know, Baby, I Need Your Lovin', that's really nice to have on there on the poster. And uh, a bit more puzzling, however, is the song on this side. There we go. Above an autograph, you can see there, Ask the Lonely. Now, that was their second hit, also in 1964, but it was only an R&B hit. It went barely squeaked into the top ten R&B and stiffed as a pop single. So, why would they put it on here? It's not that big a hit, and it's from two or three years ago. You know, if you want to sell tickets for the show, which they did anyway, but if you really want to move those ticks, why not put the monster hit, I Can't Help Myself, right? You know, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch. Um, that was number one on both charts, and was number one on the R&B chart for two months, for heaven's sake. So, you know, you'd think that would sell more tickets than Ask the Lonely, which frankly, uh, you and I probably don't really can't hum it like we can the other ones. Now, you know, I specified I can't help myself, it's the obvious omission from the songs on the poster, but, you know, we don't have to play God and say which song should have been there. There's several others that could have been on there instead of Ask the Lonely, such as It's the Same Old Song, it's hard to just speak the titles you want to sing them. Um, but anyway, that's okay. It's what's great about these old concert posters is which song titles were put on here, and we can only speculate as to why. So that's really fun. Okay, so down below, uh, down beneath the picture of the gentleman, you have Johnny Talbot and Defangs, except they drop the L. Who the typesetter at Tillman Press dropped the L, and it says Johnny Tabbit and Defangs. And I'm sure Tillman got a little grief about that because uh, Johnny played around the Bay Area quite a bit at this time. So it's really Johnny Talbot and the Thangs, and they released a few singles for sure. And then I get a kick out of that at the bottom there. It says dance, concert, and show. Usually posters have two out of those three words, you know? Now one of them, a couple of them are redundant of each other, and so, you know, dance, concert, or whatever, dance, show, or, but dance, concert, and show. I can't remember another poster that had all three words, so I think that's, uh, that's kind of funny. And then below concert there, at the very bottom, it says the Tillman Press out of Oakland with their address and stuff like that. So, Okay, so this was printed by Tillman Press, in fact, originally on white cardboard. And you might notice this is very, very toned. The term in the hobby is toned. Um, synonyms in everyday language is, you know, sunburned, not quite faded, more just like browned by the sun and sometimes fluorescent lights. And this one is very toned, actually, but us poster collectors generally don't take a lot of marks off for that. It's fine. It's, you know, if, as long as um, there's a lot, all the other damage issues are worse, such as folds and tears and writing and all this stuff. Um, but I just want to point out this was once a white poster. And, and the reason it's toned, I actually know the why. The reason it was toned... Um, it's because it hung in the legendary record store, Village Music, 
in Mill Valley, California. No longer in business, but boy, was that a mecca for music lovers. Everybody from Jerry Garcia to Elvis Costello were regular customers. Just a great place. And uh, as a matter of fact, so it was, uh, he had all, um, he, John Goddard, was the proprietor of Village Music, and he had all kinds of concert posters lining the walls. And I can so clearly remember going in there in the 1990s and just like gazing at the walls and wishing those were all yours, you know, those all mine, I should say, the concert posters. And uh, he, John knew they were getting faded and toned and stuff like that, but he also had these all these artists that came in, signed the posters. And so these four signatures of the four Four Tops members are all to Goddard, at least um, not in nomenclature, but they, they were signed for Goddard, we should say. And boy, I'll tell you, these guys were really upbeat, happy, you know, some successful musicians are still sort of like, you know, <laughs> negative, but the four tops, these these autographs, uh, one of them says, be happy, and then the name, like Levi Stubbs, whatever, and one says, great luck, and one says, happiness always, and so they were, that's, that's pretty positive signatures from the, maybe it's because the Four Tops, a remarkable show business story, formed in 1953, and they stayed completely intact with the same four members for 44 years until death finally took the first member in 1997. So 44 years together, that's got to be happiness and a ton of gold records under their belt as well. So, great concert poster. You don't see them too often. Just love this one. The Tillman Press Four Tops from the Fillmore Auditorium. How cool. There were probably, uh, you know, psychedelic concerts on either side of this, right, by the airplane and stuff like that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the poster. I sure did. And uh, it's the same old song, but not really, right? So thanks for dropping by. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.